Hey y'all, welcome back to Pearls of Eden, and I'm here to drop this jewel of a message off to you. The Lord's going to contend with those who have contended with you. Yes, we are in the season of vindication. Now remember, your assignment was to read Psalms chapter 35, so I read it during my lunch break, so here I am to deliver this word, and it says in Psalm 35, contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. I'm here to tell you, you do not have to fight your own battle because the Lord, he looks high, he sits high, he looks low. He knows all that is going on. He knows every situation. And I'm here to tell you because you gave it and you put it in the Lord's hands and you sat it at the altar of the Lord, you did what you were supposed to. The Lord is going to contend with your enemies in 2024. Oh, that's right, you all. This word piggybacks on the message that I gave this morning. He he is going to contend with those who contended with you. He is going to deal with the hearts of people who wrongly judged you, who mocked you, who persecuted you, who did all kinds of wrong things. Even when he convicted them, they would not relent. They just kept on doing as they will. Let me tell you what it says in the word of God. Psalms 35. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They sneer at me and say, aha, aha, with our own eyes, we have seen it. Lord, you've seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness. Lord, my God, do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted or say we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, the Lord exalted who delights in the well-being of his servant. There are two camps. There are those who despise the righteous. There are those who look for the downfall of the righteous and they say, aha, aha. And then there are those when God, when they see God's people arising and shining and being vindicated, they are so excited. It is as if though they are being vindicated and they are pleased, they are happy and they're joyous. And those are the type of people that will be blessed. But those people who have been waiting for your despise, those people who secretly set a trap for you they are going to fall in the traps that they said my god my god vindication season is here he is vindicating his children on a level for all to see he is preparing that table that you hear on psalms 23 before your enemies they're going to see you be blessed and highly favored in this season why because their hearts were wicked you know we judge on different levels we judge on outward appearances we can judge on all kinds of things but god looks at the heart and he has been looking at the hearts of his children judgment starts at the house of god you all he's been looking at our hearts in this same chapter, David was fasting and praying and seeking the face of God for people who were accusing him, for people who were talking bad about him, for people who were waiting for his fall, he was praying for. They returned evil for his good. Child of God, I'm here to say that some of you have been fasting and praying for people who were wishing for your downfall. Some of you have been blessing people that they in their hearts wanted nothing but to see you fall it's vindication season baby let me just tell you they about to watch you be blessed highly favored in the land vindication is here because god was is exposing a lot in 2024 but he's also looking at the heart he is exposing people for their hearts
fool. If you're on the right side of history, you are in good standing. If you are one of those, as David says, may those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say the Lord be exalted who delights in the well-being of his servant. If you're one of those that are rejoicing with your brothers and sisters because you are seeing that they are being vindicated for God's glory, well then rejoice. Be well pleased that God's servants in this season are being vindicated. Rejoice.